Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everyone, you may hear running around, my, <laughs> my kitten's here with me and she's like going crazy. Um, yeah, that could be a sign, but she's really happy. She's just jumping all over like a monkey. Um, anyway, so you may hear her running around. <laughs> um, anyway, Collective, I am here to do a random reading, okay? This reading is for the Collective, so it's not going to be for all of you, okay? Uh, just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. And um, don't try to squish it into your world, right? And thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Um, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Thank you all so, so much. All right, so I'm still laughing at my, at my cat. <laughs> She's like a monkey today. I don't know what's going on. All right, so I feel like, okay, I feel like there's a masculine in a home situation here. Um, I, they may even be like, kind of, I don't know if they're staying with a friend or maybe even on vacation. I'm kind of getting the, the, it's giving me the vibe of travel. Uh, I'm also seeing somebody coming up to him like, what are you doing, man? Why are you sleeping down there? I don't know what happened here. Is this a party? Somebody passed out on the floor? What? <laughs> I'm going to have to clarify that one. I feel like they're staying with a friend or something. With a bunch of friends or maybe on a trip. All they can think about is you, though. All right? They just don't know. Yeah, moving. Moving. They don't know how to move. Because whatever step this person, you know, they're scaling this wall here, right? With this shouldering a giant burden. It's almost like they have to move, but they don't know how. They have to move, but they don't know how. And they may have to stay at a friend's house. Because the only way that they can come and get you, person watching, collective, is if they move, I feel. But they feel like they're stuck. If this person even budges, that boulder is going to crush them or they're going to fall off the side of this cliff. So this person feels really stuck underneath that boulder. That's part of their karma. They have to defeat the Gargan. <laughs> they have to defeat uh, a karmic individual here. They're getting their karma. Their, their, or this could just be them feeling defeated. This could be them feeling defeated here. I feel like this person wants to come back to you. This could even be you just getting tired, getting tired from this, from this journey, you know, reaching out. Um, yeah, it feels like this person wants you and they have to move and they have to defeat someone here. Um, they're getting their karma. They feel stuck. They don't know where to go. They may have to stay with a friend. They, they had a choice to make here between the devil and the divine. Okay? They had a choice to make. Um, I'm feeling like... I'm hearing the word delivered. Being delivered. What is that all about? They had a choice to make between the devil and the divine. And they I feel like they were in a codependent relationship here because they're propped up here by the devil. And the devil's about to... The devil can take away their balance at any time. At any time. And it's almost like the devil has a hold of this sword here. They don't... They didn't want your person to come and communicate. Or maybe they didn't want them to know the truth. And God has been trying to wake this person up for a very long time. Like, you're running out of time. Wake up, dude. Wake up. And they just slept on it. You know, they just slept on it. They, they, didn't, uh, they didn't do anything. I'm hearing, I keep seeing and hearing the word delivered. I don't know, message, maybe they're getting some messages. They're definitely hearing messages from the divine, but I'm thinking more of along the lines of the divine really wanted them to come to the divine, be delivered, come out from this darkness, because this is Persephone here. Persephone is kind of taken from um, 
uh, the god of the underworld, um, Hades. Taken, taken by Hades to go and live in the underworld for like during the winter, okay? Um, and during the spring, Persephone is delivered delivered back to back to on earth here back to the mother I, I feel like that that's the divine was trying to get this person to come back home to the divine but I feel like they got stuck in a codependent relationship sleeping on it completely unclear there could have even been possible spell work done but I don't like to jump right into that um this person couldn't see something clearly and now they feel stuck. I feel like they missed their chance. This almost looks like a portal here. And spirit, you know, this person is floating. It's almost like this person missed their chance of deliverance to be brought up and delivered back to the light. I know, I, I know it's deep, but that's what I'm sensing here. And for that, they're getting their karma they're getting their karma for that now they feel stuck they don't know where to go they may even be like sleeping on somebody's couch or somebody's floor um yeah now they're seeing things clearly here wanting to take control of the situation take control of anything that they can really and come forward there could be kids involved, children involved in this situation, but I'm not really feeling that. I'm feeling like they could be a father figure. I'm, I'm just feeling like they need to take control here of their own senses, you know. They need to listen to the messages. They need to... The Divine wanted this person to um, be delivered back to them. I feel like with the Chariot here, you could be dealing with a Cancer, or you, you could be a Cancer, but I feel like this is about a masculine energy, just so you know, um, who's losing a battle between the Devil and the Divine. And I feel, like, I feel like the divine wants this person to wake up and see some things clearly and move forward. They're hanging on to something here, too, that's broken. That, that could be it. They're hanging on to something that's broken, and the divine wants to deliver them from that. They're trying to get your person to see the light here, that they're hanging on to something that's broken. Moving forward. They need to move forward. But this person, if you notice, they keep looking back. The divine is trying to get them. I feel like this is the divine. Come on. Come with us. But this person keeps looking back and hanging on to something that's broken. And now they feel stuck. Stuck, maybe even defeated, or they need to defeat a karmic individual. All right, what else can you show me here, Divine? What else can you show me for the collective? Yeah, yes, creation, I'm telling you. The Divine is just like screaming at this person for real. Screaming at this person, wake up! Get enlightened. You're hanging on to something that's broken. <laughs> Listen to us. Stop looking backwards. I feel like they need to be facing in the opposite direction, looking towards their future, but they keep looking in the past at something. Chaos. It's causing a lot of chaos, darkness, night. This person may be, um, they're headed towards a dark night of the soul here. So that they can see the light. It follows brightness and day follows. And then we have Gaia. I feel like this person really wants this masculine to come to the divine. I just keep seeing it typed out and then hearing it delivered. Delivered. Deliver us from evil. 
deliver us from evil. The divine is trying to do that. They're trying to deliver this person from evil. Make a decision. Choose. They're really, really on this person to try to wake them up and make them see that they've been hanging on to something that's broken. I, I feel like, ah, oh man, this person just doesn't know which way to move. The divine is trying to tell them. I feel like maybe this person knows with you they could have ultimate abundance, okay? But I feel like they're scared here. I feel like they're scared. They're, yeah, they're scared. And I feel like they're praying here. They want to reach out to you too. So I feel like they're praying for help is what I'm feeling like. Please help me. To be honest with you, please help me. Yeah, I feel like you're out here shining bright like a diamond, and they're like, I want to be there. <laughs> Do you see that? I want to be there. Well, they here's all the angels are surrounding you. Um, and it looks like you know you're you're hugging somebody here. They want to be delivered to now they're start I feel like they're starting to pray for help here because this deliver us from evil. I'm telling you this person's this person, the divine is trying to help them win a battle against good and evil here. I've got to say, trying to wake this person up, trying to get them to see this is too many. Yeah, this, yeah, you're the divine feminine out here. I feel like this is a divine masculine. You're moving forward. You're moving forward, and this person wants to be with you. They could be waking up to this connection, too. You mean, you mean divine feminine is for me? Divine feminine? That's for me? Yeah. And you're moving forward. So this person is, the divine is trying to wake this person up, you know, really like wake up, wake up, right? Tooting that horn, blowing the horn. They're blowing the horn, wake up. And I feel like they're, they're kind of like questioning it. Is this, you want me to come towards this person? You could be a cancer. They could be a cancer. Uh, or a fire sign. I've got fire signs out here too. And some Taurus. Could be a Taurus. What else can you show me here? Yeah, I feel like they're being woken up, enlightened to this soulmate connection here now, wanting to reach out, praying on this because they're questioning it. You mean Divine Feminine is my soulmate? <laughs> yeah, they've got a snake somewhere to conquer here. I feel like um, this is young Hercules here. Uh, I feel like this person has to wrestle with the snake before they come to you I feel like that's the broken thing that they're that they're having they've been hanging on to they need to wrestle some kind of demon in order to come forward towards you and you're moving forward here I feel like um, they're a bit possessive too but yet at the same time they've been in denial about this connection yeah, a very sexual a very this person may have like um some sexual addictions here i just feel like they're yeah they're in chaos they're look they chose this they chose something um very sexual over you and that's a toxic situation this is a devil card that's the devil card could be dealing with a capricorn or maybe they chose a capricorn over you Whoever they chose is causing all of this chaos. Do you see this person down here? They've got, I, they're the only ones in this picture with like um, a weird demon ear. 
I feel like whoever they chose has some very dark attachments. And they're kissing this person. It's whoever they've been with, okay? Whoever they chose is very, very toxic. Um, so they're, they're kind of waking up here. They're realizing what they chose, and they're realizing who they actually should have been with. The divine is really, I mean, they're blowing a horn right in this person's ear, okay? Giving them these messages, they're like, look, here's the blueprint, guy. Just follow the guidelines, okay? <laughs> That's what the divine is telling them. Yeah, this, yes, this is your divine feminine. This is your divine feminine. He's, this person's questioning it. They chose the devil over the divine. And now they're getting their karma. They're living, a, I feel like, in a just a cluster mess of chaos here. Could even get violent, very codependent. Whatever chaos this is, this karmic individual um, is the one who is the culprit, I think the one who's causing it because they continuously hang on to something that's that's broken okay this person they need to wake up wake up wake up yeah and you're out here um, being beautiful yeah having a new beginning this is you pregnant or pregnant with just creative ideas, okay? You're in control of your own destiny now. I, I feel like it's time. Look, that you're blowing your horn. The divine is blowing their horn. It's time for this person to wake up and figure this out and get unstuck from all these burdens. Um, you know, it's time to at least notice that they had a choice. Okay, uh, the divine is trying to deliver them from evil. Thank you. Anyway, listen, that's the reading that I got for today. Um, I hope this helps someone. I do. If you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Become a new Mooney. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.